there is another threat for some severe weather, not in California, but across the Midwest states near Iowa, also Missouri. They're looking at that threat for a few tornadoes, also strong winds and some hail. Uh, that storm system is making its way through the Ohio River Valley right now, and it will be bringing some snow to the Great Lakes region. We've got spotty showers across the Intermountain West as well. Looking at the I-5 corridor, Showers are continuing today all the way from the Bay Area north to uh, the Seattle metro area as well. Now, most of the activity is going to be along and west of the Cascades. For our forecast area in particular, most of these showers will be at the coast, and a few of them will make their way into uh, Josephine County. It'll be pretty isolated in Jackson County, Northern California, and in the Klamath Basin. But snow levels are starting off pretty low, around 3,500 feet. So it's kind of neat. You can see a few of these showers falling in the form of snow along the Coast Range Mountains. Now, again, these showers are going to be mostly at the coast today and over Josephine County. We're getting off to a mild start because of the cloud cover, at least west of the Cascades. 42 in Medford, 46 in Brookings, 34 in Klamath Falls, 36 in Mount Shasta. Everybody is reporting mostly cloudy skies at this point. Looking at cloud cover and precipitation as we head throughout the next 72 hours, again, these showers will continue for today. Here we are about 3.30 in the afternoon. And then we fast forward into tomorrow. We've got a potent storm system moving in that will be bringing moderate to heavy rain to most of the region. Snow levels are rising into Friday afternoon. Here we are about 145. They'll be above 6,000 feet, but they do drop into Friday night and into the weekend as this storm system moves down the I-5 corridor into Friday night. So that's when we've got rain falling for West Side Valleys into Saturday will then be falling in the basin and over Northern California. And then the cold air moves in, so snow levels will be dropping down between three and 4,000 feet. So above that, we'll have some snow falling in the higher elevations into the weekend. For today at the coast, mostly cloudy skies with rain showers, also dealing with the wind today, breezy conditions in the forecast for you. Over Northern California, mostly cloudy with rain showers as well although they are going to be pretty isolated. Best chance will be in western Siskiyou County. For the basin, same story. Breezy for today. Winds are out of the southwest, and we've got a few isolated showers there. In the higher elevations, between 1 and 4 inches of accumulation, mainly above 4,000 feet, although snow levels are starting off around 3,500 feet. For the Rogue Valley, also dealing with showers, but the best chance will be in Josephine County. 56, the high in both Medford and Grants Pass. Here's that seven-day forecast keeping around this active weather pattern through Monday of next week. Northern California, you also have rain moving in for the weekend. More spotty, though, for Sunday. Most areas are going to be mostly cloudy for the second half of the weekend with very isolated showers. In the higher elevations, again, our snow levels are rising Friday, but they drop quickly. <laughs> into Friday night. And for the Rogue Valley, 56 today in Medford, 58 tomorrow. More consistent rain on the way for tomorrow with that front. Yep, a lot of clouds outside, and uh, but fortunately we're not getting tornadoes <laughs> like they had in Northern California. Right, yeah. Uh, we won't take those. We'll just take the rain. Yeah. That's, right. we need the <laughs> That's rain. what we need.